Hi everybody, welcome to AnkleCast number 16. It's been a long time coming, and uh, I've been meaning to record this AnkleCast for a while, um, but I keep having books that I'm listening to on audio that I don't want to skip. You know, I, I, I listen to them on my drive to work, and I record AnkleCast on my drive to work, and so if I record an ankle cast, that means I have to not listen to my book. And you know how it is when you got a book that's good and you, you want to keep reading and you wind up reading it into the middle of the night or whatever. Um, obviously, the same thing is going to happen with an audiobook, only it's harder to read into the middle of the night. I have been doing that where I just, I've got uh, <clears throat> the book on my phone and while I'm working, I have been just turning it on. I keep having to pause it again and again, though, because, you know, I'm an editor and I have to deal with audio uh, often, and it's kind of hard to edit audio and listen to other audio at the same time. So, yeah, but I still managed to get in uh, some extra listening, maybe even a whole hour's worth extra by, by listening to it at work. But, uh, yeah, it was hard. It's hard for me right now to be saying, nah, I'm just going to record an ankle cast because I should um but anyways yeah that's what I'm doing anyways though I'm recording an ankle cast because a I have left it for way too long and b I have stuff I want to say um we went to the new media expo this month and I still haven't done anything about it I also haven't even done a blog post about it which I've been meaning to do as well um but I got so far behind on my personal blog that I do. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff happens at Christmas time, and I hadn't written about any of it. And so I was way behind on that. And so I, I have almost caught up on that. I need to do my blog post for New Media Expo as well. Maybe I will combine them, make the ankle cast and the blog post kind of a one and the same thing, uh, and put, you know, the ankle cast as part of what you can listen to. That sounds like a good idea. So I think I'll probably do that. <clears throat> Excuse me with the uh, throat clearing. Um, but yeah, we went to the New Media Expo and it was a lot of fun. It was really interesting. Um, it's funny because I remember last year I, I told on the ankle cast, if I remember right, the story of the dead mouse that was in my bed uh, when I went. And this year uh, I felt bad because Rish's uh, aunt and uncle kept mentioning that. They kept saying, oh, did you find any little, there weren't any little friends in your in your bed waiting for you, were there? Uh, you know, and they kept saying stuff like that. You could tell they were embarrassed. And Rish even told me that his, uh, the story got around in his family and some of his family now refuses to stay at that aunt's house because they heard about this, uh, this mouse thing. So <laughs> I felt really bad about that um but there were no mice no dead mice or live mice even in in my bed this year uh, i did still have a bed mishap though um i was uh that first night i was trying to go to sleep and i kept getting a cough and i'd get up get this bottle of water that i had drink a little bit of it it was just one of those you know disposable ones you know that you, you just get in a big pack like a, a dasani or something like that although this one was surely a generic one because you know I don't buy brand name things that would require paying more um but anyways uh yeah I got up and I could get this bottle of water and I'd take a drink of it and I'd lay back down and then a couple minutes later I'd cough again and I'd cough and then I'd have to get up and get a drink and finally I thought you know what I'm just gonna bring this dumb bottle of water to bed with me so I don't have to get up because each time I get up it wakes me up a little bit and I'm never going to get to sleep this way. And so <clears throat> I got the bottle of water and I took a drink from it and I screwed the lid back onto it and I laid down and of course after the very first time that I got up and got it I fell asleep and never coughed again. But somewhere in the middle of the night I woke up and the bed was sopping wet. I'm like oh my gosh what has happened <clears throat> and I realized that I had screwed the lid on not quite right to that bottle of water and so it had been laying next to me 
and it had been leaking slowly all night long into the bed and so I was laying on this sopping wet bed and so I tried to scoot over to the other side so I was sleeping on the drier portion of it at least and uh, and yeah I in the morning I had to tell Risha's aunt yeah no no little friends but uh, uh, I, I did have a bottle of water that leaked on me in the bed so if you think that I've peed the bed uh, I actually haven't, if you, if you, so, <laughs> so just don't worry about it. And yeah, I left the, the blankets open so that they would dry out for me by the time the next day came. But, uh, yeah, that was nice. Gotta love a wet bed. Everybody loves sleeping in a wet bed, I'm sure. Um, my, <clears throat> my window is fogging up from all this talking. I have to turn on the, uh, I turned off the air so that it wouldn't make so much noise on the, on the recording, but I'll have to turn it on at least for a minute to unfog the window. Um, but yeah, the New Media Expo was a lot of fun. Uh, Rich and I do do an episode of That Gets My Goat where we talk about it, so, um, I'll try not to repeat myself. I'm sure I'll do a little of it, but... Yeah, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of folks there. More, more people, uh, uh, pod, more podcasters there this year than last year. And um, some people that we didn't know at all before. Uh, Dave Thompson from Podcastle, for example. I mean, I know his voice. I feel sort of like I know him in the way that you kind of feel that way about people you hear on the radio or whatever. I feel like I know him, but I don't really know him. He's just a, a voice that I'd heard. And, uh, but yeah, we hung out with him, and he turned out to be a really cool guy, um, which is always good. Uh, that's one of those things that I've always feared about going to the New Media Expo, you know? We're like, yay, we're going to meet all these people that we only know, like, by way of email or something like that. And uh, uh, it's going to be so cool, but what if one of those people turns out to be a complete tool and you didn't realize that they were going to be a tool until you actually met them and then the whole freaking uh, weekend sucks because you're spending time with this annoying person. And that hasn't happened yet. Um, not that we've met every po podcaster out there, so I'm sure there's tools awaiting but uh, we've met several, and they've all been pretty cool people, um, which is great. Uh, also, we met a guy, I'd never even heard of this guy before the uh, weekend. Uh, he goes by the name of Johnny Feisty, and he uh, does a podcast. And um, I guess uh, Brian Lincoln uh, knows him relatively well. They're, he hung out with him a little bit last year, I guess. Um, but this year, uh, he hung out with us a lot more. He went with us to, uh, pizza and went with us walking around downtown. I think he went to the roller coaster with us, etc., etc. We did all sorts of stuff with him, and he wound up recording things with us. So he's going to have a, a, he narrates a story. He plays parts in stories. Um, so that's going to be really cool. And, uh, yeah, that's one of those things that we were able to do while we were there is we recorded a ton of stuff, a literal ton, you know, it, you put it on a scale and that's how much it weighs, that's how much stuff we recorded, um, it was amazing, I, I actually got home and I went through and, you know, put these things all on our little schedule and our schedule is full for a ways out because of all of this stuff we recorded while we were there just a lot of stuff and I'm, I'm really excited about it I think I may still not have all the recordings because <laughs> that was one of those things that we did this last year we tried I brought all my microphones and my mixer and everything and we tried to set it up so that we got everybody onto like one actual recording and uh, this time around instead everybody now has a different has a zoom recorder a zoom is what I record this, uh, uh, my angle cast on. Um, it's just a portable recorder that also can be a mic. 
Um, and now everybody, Rish has one, I have one, Brian had one, uh, Renee has one, Abby has one, everybody has a Zoom. And so instead of trying to get everybody all onto the same uh, recording, we just all recorded ourselves. And that hopefully won't prove to be a problem because I am still not in possession of all the recordings I think that we've made. I need to actually go through and just kind of figure out which ones are still missing. I was trying to figure it out and I don't think that I have achieved uh, in getting all of them just yet. Somebody's out there hoarding, hiding a recording from me. Uh, from what I heard, Marshall or somebody said that uh, Renee had, was having problems with her laptop, which is how she would upload her recordings to the Dropbox. So it may be that, you know, they're in the process of coming to me. Hopefully we don't have to redo lines on our live recordings and fake them into fake, although I think we may have to do that at least with one set of recordings anyways, because my mic wasn't on once when we recorded, and that was bad. Um, sorry, I'm rambling. I'll try and be a little more succinct. Um, one of the things that uh, Rish and I really enjoyed was we went to a panel of Scott Sigler's this year. And uh, if you haven't heard of Scott Sigler, he's one of those, like, granddaddies of the podcasting uh, realm. He was one of those guys that started doing... Uh, podcasting, and particularly podcasting his novels, uh, really early on, like 2005 or something, 2006, when all this stuff was brand new, and so he was one of the few good novelists out there that was podcasting, and everybody seems to have heard of this guy, and he talked <clears throat> about the things that he wished he'd done earlier, and about the things that he wished he'd never done. And he gave us some really interesting pointers. Rish and I, I think, were both uh, relatively inspired by what Scott Sigler had to say. Um, you know, some various things, like, for example, he said that you need, you, you are your product. You know, like the Dune Steve Audio Fiction Magazine, for example, Rish and Big are the product of the Dune Steve. It's not a particular story that's the product. You know, he was saying that when he first started, he was doing, uh, we'll say he was doing Infected, was his uh, novel, and he would put Infected on as his... Uh, his avatar, you know, everywhere you'd go, you'd see the book cover of Infected. And then when he was finished with Infected, he would change his avatar over to the next book he was doing, which was, we'll say, Earthcore. And each time, you know, that was his product, and that's what he thought was his product, but his product was him. The writing of Scott Skit Sigler was the product. And, uh, it's funny because I even did that once. When we first started Facebook, I used to do that. Each week, I would put the weekly episode art. I would change my my Facebook status, or not status, my profile picture to uh, the episode art for that week's story that we were doing on the Dune Steve. So, obviously, uh, I had the same sort of a problem. And... Uh, and yeah, that's something that I mean to fix. Like, for example, the big D is our our podcast art or whatever on iTunes, and I'm thinking I need to change that up so that it's a, a picture of me and Rish, and, you know, it says Dune Steve up above with the D, but the big D is not going to be our product because Big and Rish are the product. Um, some other things like that... Uh, are what he talked about and it, it you know it got me really excited it's funny because he makes a living as a podcaster and writer he writes books he sells them he podcasts his books uh, i think he podcasts them basically just as a tool to interest people 
uh, in his stuff. And I think he has a good 15,000 followers, which is more than we have for the Dune Steve. But we're not terribly too far behind him. Um, we have maybe a third of that, <laughs> maybe a little less than a third. But, uh, you know, that's still a lot. I was actually thinking about that. If we were to get, and I'm sure I'll mention this some other time when we're talking about New Media Expo and the excitement that I've had and, you know, <laughs> how I want to make it go somewhere. But if we were to have all the people that downloaded an episode, if they each gave $1 a month, not per episode, but just a month, one dollar a month, I could live, I could have that be my full-time job, is just doing the Dune Steve. And if these people donated two dollars a month, then me and Rish could have this be our full-time job. Um, and I'll tell you, if it was our full-time job, as we've said uh, over and over again, there would be so many more episodes, um, and there would be so much more of our own writing, and there would be so much, uh, so much more that gets my goat, ankle cast, and so forth, because there'd be no reason not to have more. Um, we wouldn't have an excuse of saying, yeah, well, I, I couldn't do it because I was, uh, you know, I was working. I was working overtime and I was working weekends and I mean that's what happens to me all the time I worked this last weekend I had to be there at 3 in the morning um, last Sunday and I worked from 3 in the morning until 9 uh, extra on top of the whole rest of the week and uh, it's hard to you know to, to keep up and to do all that stuff when, uh, when that's what you're doing but if it's your full time job you could totally do it easily and I guess when it comes down to it, I think this year I'm going to try and get us to do subscription drives because, you know, like I said, if it was a dollar per person that downloaded it, uh, we could, I could have that be my full-time job. Well, it's not, that's not going to happen. We're not going to get each person to give us a dollar. But if one out of every five people gave us five dollars, then that would be the same thing. So if we could get a whole bunch of $5 a month subscriptions, Rish and I could do this as a full-time job. And I'd, oh my gosh, I would really like to make that a possibility, to make that happen. I think that it's possible, and we'll just have to see. Um, there's, uh, Scott Sigler has an assistant named A. Kovacs, and I don't know what the A stands for, obviously it stands for something, but anyways, she's the one that keeps him on track, and that's one thing that we, we took from him too, is trying to get somebody that keeps us on track and keeps us going and make sure we don't do the stupid stuff like spend all our time on something that isn't creating product because that's the, one of the lessons he learned is that every minute he spends tweeting or Facebooking or whatever is a minute he's not spending writing which is making the product that he sells and uh, that's the same kind of thing for us every time we're you know organizing who is the producer of this episode or that episode are organizing the who gets this who's going to do this line or that line that's us not doing the things you know not making the dune steve not uh editing on our episodes or, or whatever it is that we need to do not writing new episodes because that's one of the things that we're trying to do uh recently is do more stories of our own on the show and uh still is something i need to get better at uh <laughs> While we were at the media, New Media Expo, Abby told me that I had to either stop making writing goals or start fulfilling them because she says that listening to the ankle cast, bleh, 
listening to the ankle cast has gotten too depressing where all I do is get on and say, I'm sorry, I said I was going to do this goal and I didn't, I'm so sorry, boo hoo hoo, which um, I can understand that, who would want to listen to that, I don't know, probably nobody, but uh, I'm definitely going to up that this year too because, you know, I got you, I got to get episodes in there. Um, but, uh, anyways, yeah, so anyway, I'm, I'm really excited about the podcast right now. We've gone through and we've tried to plan it out. We've got our 15, uh, triple word score, uh, contest winners that we are going to be podcasting. Um, and we've got several other stories, a bunch that we recorded at New Media Expo, a bunch that we'd already had done, so on and so forth. We've got enough uh, things planned that we could have an episode every other week this entire year and that's what I'm hoping to achieve is an every other week episode um, and we're ready to go so far we've got one that I, I just have to finish assembling and it will hit exactly two weeks from the last one or maybe not what was our last one? Our last one was well, anyways, it'll it'll be maybe it'll just be the start of the every two week thing, but uh, it's going to hit this Friday, and uh, and then we are already recorded the next one that's going to hit the week after that or two weeks after that I should say, and uh, yeah, we're gonna try and do that, we're try and get that my goat, that my goat, we're gonna try and get that gets my goat going uh, every uh, week. And I'm going to try and make sure that AnkleCast has at least one episode every month. Um, I'm actually going to have two episodes this month, though, because as part of my uh, get excited about stuff, the other day while Rish and I were recording, we sat down and we recorded a story that I wrote that uh, I thought about doing last year um, as kind of a, hey, here's a surprise it's Super Bowl time, and I wrote this story, and uh, I figured I'd put it on here, and I didn't think of that until, like, the day before the Super Bowl, unfortunately, so it was kind of too late. But this year, I've got it recorded. I've now got it already edited, and as soon as I'm done talking to you here, I'm going to record the episode for that one. So there's going to be an extra ankle cast, which includes a story that I wrote, uh, and hopefully you guys enjoy that. It's one of those stories. It's, uh, it's a really short one, and, it, and I don't think it's one of my best ones. But I guess that's why it's here on the ankle cast and not on the main show. But uh, one way or another, it's something I wrote. And that's good. The more I put that kind of stuff out, the better it is, right? Uh, so, yeah, I'm really excited. And uh, I hope that... Uh, we're able to achieve our goals a little better this year. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'll go ahead and go now. Thanks for listening, everybody, and uh, have a good week until I see you again with the next uh, ankle cast that I'm going to record. See you later.